So this is my new water cooling system. It is the Thermaltake Big Water 735 with three 8 inch thick tubes and a 400 liters per minute pump. And it basically only comes with a reservoir and pump, a CPU block, and this radiator. What I've added to this system is two VGA blocks for my SLI 8800GT system and a secondary radiator which is externally mounted. So initially the coolant begins in the pump, in the reservoir actually, goes into the pump, goes out this tube, up it goes into the CPU first. This is a Thermaltake CPU block, all copper. The you can see inside the channels, which is milled out of the copper. And then the coolant is pumped out of the CPU block into this radiator. This radiator has two 120 millimeter fans. This one right here. There's actually one behind this. You can see the blue LEDs inside, but you can't quite see it. But the, the heat sink is in here. Next, it goes out through here into this video card. This is the lower 8800 GT. And then subsequently pumped up into here into the second 8800 GT. And then, before returning to the reservoir, the coolant goes outside the case. You can see here. Out into this large radiator, which is externally mounted. This radiator has two 120mm fans. One here, one here. And it cools down the coolant before ultimately going back inside into here all the way back to the reservoir and it's cycled back through. So I want to point out that this external radiator did not come with the system and this was an additional piece of the system. Um, the reason why I added it is because I was concerned that adding two additional video cards in addition to the CPU block will not be cooled sufficiently by a single radiator here. So if you notice this system actually is quite unusual. Air goes in here, this 120mm fan, through this radiator and then there's a fan right here that goes out through here you go through another 120mm fan and through this radiator and out. So there's three 120mm fans from here to here. In addition, the top mount, this fan actually assists the power supply at displacing air. Air goes up here through a 120mm fan in the power supply, pumps out through here, and then furthermore goes through this into the radiator. So this radiator is essentially taking the air from all the exhaust of the entire system. So here it is. This is my brand new 100, my brand new $50 liquid cooling system, which was further modified.